What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, welcome back to the internet. I, I I assume you were not on the internet until the previous stream, and now you're back. So, you know, welcome to the internet. I'm glad you can come back and join us. I'm going to join this Guilds of Ravnica Sealed League. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? If you guys did not know, I did a set review, and it's up on YouTube. You can check it out on my YouTube channel, youtubecom Lepore. There are two parts. <coughs> we got a Temple Garden. That's pretty good. Uh, there are two parts. Part one is a white through red, and part two is green and the rest. So, there you go. There you go. And <clears throat> the reason we're doing sealed is because there are no drafts yet. There's only sealed when you first start. For the like of the first weekend... Oh, we got a Doom Whisper. That guy's going right in there. Um, doesn't, look, doesn't look like our black is very deep. We also got a Blood Operative, which is great. So... <clears throat> All right. That's good removal. Our black cards look great, but it doesn't look like we have a ton of support for them. Um, yeah, for the first weekend of a set that when it comes out of Magic Online, it's only uh, it's only sealed. I'm sorry, I'm reading these cards. You you know what I'm saying. You get it. All right. I, I usually don't like to sort by rarity. I like to find them because there's some suspense in that. It's kind of like opening packs. For the sake of... Oh, hey, boy. How you doing, Chief? <clears throat> Gruesome Menagerie? And Ar Atrata? Are we just Grixis? Oh, Grixis seems good here. We have Demir and... Oh, I like this. We got Doom Whisper and a Viceroy. Uh, and we have Atrata. Atrata... Okay, so we're probably not going to win with Atrata because we only have one of them. It's still a 3-5 for 4 that can't be blocked and it kills creatures. Which is pretty good. Um, Blood Operative's really good. I want... Oh, wow. Two Dead Weights. Okay. Well. When it enters the battlefield, Surveil 1. It's an 0-3 with Defender. I'm not super excited about that. Wow. Two Dead Weights is great. I could see us playing Gruesome Menagerie. Uh, choose a creature with perhaps 1, 2, and 3. So you're getting three guys back. I don't know how many 1-drops we're going to realistically want to be playing. <clears throat> I do like how our deck is looking so far. We also have two Izzet Guildgates and a Demure Guildgate, which is very, very nice. Forgetting six guild gates, three on color is pretty good. We could also. What if we just play all six and we play green too? We just play four color. Uh, Artful takedown is great removal. Bats is a three one flyer. Counter spell if it was counter exile instead. You shuffled four cards from your graveyard into your library. That's not terrible. Uh, this card's good. Uh, these are both also solid removal. Uh, it's it's whenever when it enters the battlefield you tap a guy and then it stays tapped. What do we got here? Switch the power and toughness for two dudes and search over for an instant and or sorcery reveal it, reveal them. Yeah, so that's that's a twofer. Surveil two, then draw a card. Each opponent returns an online permanent they control the highest mana cost, and then they discard a card. Yeah, that's not that's not great. Snoozle move. Thank you so much for the resub. Four months in a row, longer than all but one of my relationships. Well, I'm glad it could be me, buddy. <coughs> X the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Oh, boy. So, Rebel Boar, when there's Battlefield, target creature gets plus two, plus... Oh. That's when I'm a creature, and opponent's control creature. Okay, block this turn, sure. Also, two Luminous Bonds. Our pool looks good. Man. Dark Blade Agent. Whisper Agent. This is a 3-2 for three with Flash, and then you get to Surveil. Yeah, that's pretty good. Notion Rain, very good. Dark Blade Agent, 3 mana for a 2-3. As long as you've surveilled this turn, it has Death Touch. And whenever... Yeah, that card's good, too. <clears throat> Beacon Bolt deals damage to target creature equal to the number of instant or sorcery cards you own and in exile. You own an exile in your graveyard, rather. It's not bad. It has Jump Start. Depends on how many we have. We could also just play Blue Black and Splash the Ral. Alright, that also helps. Death Touch. These are just, that's a, just a 1-1. One, one. Um, discard a creature or a Swell Trooper gets... Actually, I mean, this is pretty good. You're a 4-3 defender. If you've cast an instant sorcery, it can attack. That's good. Oh, two of those, eh? Okay. <clears throat> Frontal combat damage. Turn stray. Wild Ceratoc. Uh, enters the battlefield with three counters. Whenever you cast a multicolor spell, put a 1-1 counter on it. This actually seems very, very good. We have a lot of four drops, though, is the problem. I really want some two drops, and our two drops do not look very good. 
even outside of our color. Dark creature can be blocked this turn. That guy's fine. Whenever you surveil, it deals one damage to each opponent. You get. Yeah, that's actually good too. Those are just we just need guys to hold down the fort so we don't die. <clears throat> Justice Strike, very, very good. Douser of Lights, just a 4 5. <clears throat> uh, 1 4 with just Surreal 2. Yeah, that's not terrible. I don't know if I'd play 2, just because. We don't have that much space, but it looks like we actually might have more space. We're going to have to... Oh, this <clears throat> this card's great. Uh, whenever you survey, I'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Yeah, that card's definitely getting played. Third creature gets plus 1, plus 1 against flying until end of turn. With Jumpstart, which makes it actually almost worth it. It's just a nice way to push through some damage. I don't think I'm muted. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me, right? Chat, can you hear me? Wreckful just said on stream that he got a sponsorship to play MTGA Beta. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> good good for them, you know? Good for them. Whenever Ornery Goblin blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, it deals one damage to that creature. That guy's fine. <clears throat> Maybe you're muted. Did you ever think about that? Yeah, I didn't think so. Just gonna think about yourself. Command of the Storm. Five damage target creature. Yeah, that's probably getting played. This is 20 cards. Hmm. I really wish I had more two drops that were worth something. I don't think Ornery Goblin is that great when it attacks. Creatures with Defender can't block. 1-3. Look at all the 1-3s. There's a 2-mana 1-3. 2-mana 1-3. 2-mana 1-3. Is this a cycle? Is there like a cycle of 2-mana 1-3s? This is just a really bad Kiln Fiend. Oh, I'll play two spells. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Great. <coughs> uh, voice isn't... Voice isn't... It's not... It's not I wouldn't say it's weird. Is it weird? Like, weird doesn't sound good. I think I've, uh, I, I took a nap and then I just woke up recently, but that's pretty much, that's pretty much it, I think. Maybe just want one more capture sphere. I really don't want to draw like a million five drops. Or the instant or sorcery cards you own in Exile and in your graveyard. We don't actually have that many instant or sorcery cards in our deck. Also, we have Blood Operative, so maybe we do want the extra Surveil. Yeah, we probably do. <coughs> Goblin Locksmith art is gas. Yeah, that actually is good art. I like that a lot, actually. <coughs> I'm going to say actually a bunch of times. Um, hmm. <clears throat> I'm not a big Discovery fan. If it was an instant, I'd be all about it. But it, being a sorcery is not great. I almost like this guy better. Like, making it a 4-4 than a 5-5 seems good. We also only have... This is the only three red cards in the deck, which is super nice. Because we don't have to actually bend over backwards to be playing red. I'm almost tempted to play this just because it has Surveil 1. Mm. <clears throat> and it's funny because our Gruesome Menagerie gets worse because we actually don't have many 1 or 2 drops. 1-1 one, one drop and 2-2 two, two drops. How is this good with Ral? What does that do? Each one returns an island. Surveil and draw 2. Yeah, because you can put it in the graveyard, sure. What's your incident sorcerer count? Probably not super high. We also have Doom Whisperer to surveil a bunch. That's pretty sick. Uh, Price of Fame. Artful Takedown. Thank you. Check two. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Eight months in a row. Remember, remember to sub in September. Yeah, three, three-ish more days to uh, to renew your gifted subs if you're if you're here for it. Four of them. Looks like only four so far. So I don't think we have a ton. Ral's, oh, actually, Notion, notion Rain. Notion Rain. <coughs> yeah, it's not terrible. We need one more card. 
Deals damage equal to target creature. Yeah, this is just not good because you don't have a lot of instant sorceries. Tap a creature, deals damage to their controller. Also not good. I mean, I'm tempted to just play this, but again, we only have four or five. So, like, anything that's based around... <coughs> Anything that's based around instance or sorceries is probably not ideal for us. Like, even this, like, Dark Creature gets... Like, it doesn't count itself, as we've realized. Um, oh, it's creature cards, though. That's interesting. We still only have 12 creatures, though. We're kind of short on, on everything. I don't think our deck is bad by any means, though. Don't get me wrong. Don't you do it. I just want Dowser of Lights. It's like a 4-5. Could be fine. <clears throat> I mean, I'd like another creature. We don't have many strong creatures. Like, we have this guy. If I had a way to get that guy back, I'd be really about it. If we had, like, return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield or something. Or not, to your true hand or something. I'd be very okay with that. Three Sonic Assaults, man. That's a lot. Is the cover up a counterspell? Uh, yes. Counterspell, pack spells, counter to exile instead. And then you can shuffle up to four cards from your graveyard into your library, which is interesting because you really want the you want both creatures in your graveyard for undergrowth, and you want spells and uh, well spells in your in your graveyard for undergrowth. So <clears throat> I'm tempted to just play this. We don't have a lot of top end, and this is actually reasonable. Returns a non-land permanent they control with the highest converted mana cost on permanents and then they discard. It just doesn't five mana doesn't just doesn't do that. It doesn't do enough for me. <clears throat> and then surveil two and draw a card is like not great value. If this if the, if you could play the second one, if this was like um aftermath, I think it's what's called, where you could like play the first half and then play the second one from the graveyard. Uh I actually was tempted to play this because we do have three Golgari Guild Gates. Uh and it's just very, very big. And it's almost impossible to deal with when it has Convoke, so. It gets creatures back? Sure, but not in, like, it just shuffles them into your library. <clears throat> is this for anyone? Uh, this is a sealed league, Matthew. <laughs> Don't play this in Constructed. Uh, whenever you surveil. Actually, tempted to play this. I mean, it's double. Like, we have to get two green. Like, I don't think it's reasonable, though. Tim the Pally, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, is this for. Oh, is this for anyone? I got you. No, no, of course not. I don't get privileges that are for streamers only, dude. <laughs> that is not how that works for me. Um. Fire. So, I'm. None of these are uncommon, so I don't feel like I'm missing any sort of secret power levels. I could play Pitiless Gorgon. I don't know. We just might, we actually might want 18 lands, but I don't think so because we have a locket. We have a pop it and locket. I'm going to bring these in so I don't forget. I'm real tempted to just put Barrier of Bones in there, but we already have two of these. These are basically just Barrier of Bones. It might just be this. <clears throat> Maybe I just want to have a counterspell. I mean, like, I would probably play Capture Sphere over Counterspell, maybe. Rampaging Monument isn't great for us. Like, we just don't... It, actually, it's multicolor spell. Yeah, I can see that. All right, that's fine. I like Monument, then. It has Trample, and it is... I thought it was uh, Instant and Sorcery, because that's, like, kind of a theme of this, the set. But because it's multicolor spell, and we have a ton of multicolor spells, I can see that. Sword my color. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Um, Two seems fine. That gives us five sources of red. For two red cards, three red cards. Ooh, that was loud. Okay. <clears throat> um, what is this? One, two, three. This is nine blue and six, seven black. We can go eight, eight. Seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. This is also one more blue because we have the locket, so. Alright, let's do it. This is exciting. Our deck seems good. We got a rally. Rally. And a Trotta and a Doom Whisper. Our five drops are stacked. I like going, is it locking into a five drop? I 
I like this. Whenever you surveil for the first time each turn, it deals one damage to each opponent. You can, so I can surveil on their turn and surveil on my turn with Doom Whisper, and it only deals one. That's pretty okay. I will play first. I'm going to keep this hand. Any blue is good for us. And we still have a snitch for turn two. Did you get to choose a guild or you open up six packs? You just open up six packs. There's no, it's not like a pre-release pre-release where you get to like have a guild pack. But I mean, it does feel like we had one. All right. All right. Let's drop this swamp like it's hot. Oh, Doom Whisper is 12 and Ral is 10. I opened up two of the three most expensive commons in the set. The only thing worth more is Assassin's Trophy. That's pretty sick. Got that sweet 22 tickets of value. All right, that's actually fine. I'll accept that. <clears throat> this guy should also surveil whenever you surveil for the first time, and then it should have surveil one on it. There is an option to pick a guild. Oh, is it the gilded sealed league? Yeah, but then you have to pay, like, not pay, but, I mean, it's like nine rounds, and I just want to be able to... Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, if we draw blue, we're good. We get uh, either one of these guys. What was the 23rd card? The Monument. The 3-3 um, the three, three that gets bigger with multicolor spells. Okay, well, here we go. <sighs> and this is just a reprint of... I don't know. Uh, the one from Kaladesh that puts a counter on something when it dies. Look at this hand, and we're missing a land drop. It's... Yep. <clears throat> Good times. Having a good time. And just like that, it's over. Yep. I guess that's good. Until they deadweight it and kill us. Everybody coming in? All right, that's a good deal. Can I just block here? Eh, we'll block here. Make you pay for it if you want. Wow. Monocerotox deck. That's literally the only land we didn't want. <clears throat> I guess we can switch two things. It's not really exciting. That's pretty comical, actually. We can switch ours and theirs, I guess. Take less, kill something. What's up, Dan and Scorch Skid? It's a good start to our Ravnica League. Our deck looks insane, but we actually just don't get lands. Our opponent didn't get lands either, but they have significantly... Uh... Huh. <clears throat> I can actually flip this, and so they don't trade. Or I can flip this so that they do trade. And then we take three, four, five, six, seven. And then we go to three, so we can't get this guy back even if we draw it and we're dead to both creatures next turn if that if that happens. Yeah, that seems bad. I think we're just dead here. I'm just gonna go to the next game because this was not very fun, unfortunately. Yeah, of course it's an island. Literally, of course it's on the top. Why wouldn't it be? All right, let's try again. Like, I don't know why Sonic Assault deals taps the creature and deals two damage to the player. That just seems so bad. Like, can't you just tap the? Can't you just deal two damage to the 
creature instead. There we go. Now we're talking. <coughs> Man, these uh these mountains are surprisingly omnipresent. Um yeah, one blue is pretty sad because now I can't play both of these next turn. Still think we play this guy instead. This costs less, and we're not gonna be Sonic Assault is terrible in this deck. Sonic Assault is terrible in general. That's why we don't have it in here. That would be good, except for this one mountain. I would might want to go down to... Yeah, we might want to take one mountain out, actually. Hmm... Yeah, one three dot deck over here. Could have attacked there, but if they have an answer for one of these guys, I'd rather not have them just charge on through. Hey, now we're talking. <clears throat> Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain, notion rain. Oh, we're not attacking here. I will be double blocking this Vigilant guy if they want to come at us here. No Agent? <clears throat> no, I'd rather just get this down in case we draw instants or sorceries. We also couldn't... Oh, we could cast this, I guess, couldn't we? I didn't realize we could cast it. I thought this was the triple uh, the triple blue one, not the not the double blue one. The double hybrid. I thought this was the triple hybrid. Creatures you can target Death Touch and then creature fights. Sure. Well, I guess I'll take it. Mirror Guild, so we can <clears throat> we can play you and play you and still keep up Whisper Agent, which is pretty good because then we surveil. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, I was definitely singing Notion Rain the other day. And to the tune of Chocolate Rain. Let me just kill one and we get blown out, right? Yeah, we'll just take it. We can just Whisper Agent out of turn. We can put Dead Weight on this guy and then attack. Maybe. <laughs> nice. Well, that's pretty good. Um. Switch power and toughness, huh? Uh, we'll keep this on top. I think. I don't even know that's good. It's probably okay. And they just block and, and pay four, right? It's pretty good. This card's really obnoxious. If we open the the Doom Whisper, it'd be nice. This card's almost this is more obnoxious than our rare for sure. Making it indestructible is pretty hard to deal with.
think it's nice to just have this on there. So then it's just a 2-1, which is not super exciting. And if we draw the second dead weight, it's pretty good. I'm tempted to keep this so that we can use the second in second half. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to attack with you, and if they block... You just attack with everybody. I'm going to attack with all three toughness guys. Oh, you're still a defender, so I guess not. I forgot about that. Um, we're gonna just, just pass. Not super. Not super all down with attack. We could have actually made this guy uh, unblockable and attacked, but put this in the graveyard and swamp in the graveyard. Interesting. Sure. I have Mythics too in my deck, I just don't know where they are, so. They can't cast non creature spells, which is pretty interesting. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Click each card to put it in your graveyard or back on top. Um into the graveyard. We just want this so we can invent next turn. I'm glad this doesn't have trample, right? Yeah. <coughs> I think we just want, I don't think we want this. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It doesn't have regenerate. We can just block it, I guess. It's a forest and rampaging monument in the graveyard. Yeah, that's fine. I can't see them attacking here. Yep. That's not bad. Now we can play invent, uh, in, invert, and invent. We can play invent, I guess. We're not playing invert. Just find two things, which is nice. I didn't forget we met. I knew last time because you put the accent over the E in my name. That's how I know. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. That'll be in my head forever. Oh, <clears throat> guess they're doing some shenanigans here. I guess they want to cast a spell. Wow. I guess that's fine. Oh, they don't attack with it, of course. But of course, Death Touch is pretty obnoxious here. Um, I guess we can try to clear some things out, but this is going to be a problem on board. <sighs> I can block here, which is pretty okay. Makes them pay four. But then what are we taking? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty bad. Probably just gonna block here too. Yeah, Death Touch is kind of annoying. They obviously pay four here. But we don't take, I guess we could have just taken two, but I'd rather deal them the four to be honest. I'm thinking two anyway, so like instead of going to 
Uh, 22, they stayed 18, whatever. Uh, invent, yeah, there we go. Does five damage to a dude. Uh, destroy a creature, probably kill this. We can actually kill both of these if we have both of these cards, but this neither of these are legendary. I'm just gonna get price and artful takedown. I'm just gonna get two removal spells. Oh, we can actually. Dang. Um, artful takedown kills this, but we have to. I think we have to price this guy. And yeah, we'll just get notion rain. That's fine. If we hit a land, we can actually play both. So. Eh, we did. Okay. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, no, we can't. It costs four. Yeah, that's fine. No, we can't because this guy would cost an extra two. Well, Biscuits. Then draw two cards. Deals two damage to you. Wouldn't wouldn't also mind a way to kill that. I don't even think we can play Notion Rain at this point. I wish I kept the the whispering snitch alive. Um, I actually want both of these. Yeah, I want both of these. We're gonna take three. I think we need capture sphere first because we need a, a way to put this guy aside. We can put blood operative on top, and then we'll put capture sphere on top of that. Yep, not going to attack. Yeah, I think I think keeping the Whispering Snitch alive was a better play than trying to... I think we should have probably just taken two more. Because we also surveilled off this, and we surveilled off this. So we would have actually gained the two back. We would have had the one three on board. What up, Juposhi? Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, this game was pretty unfun. I mean, the fact that they can like look at the top three cards and choose the best one every turn is pretty backbreaking. I mean, we go to one, then we go to four, and we just hope they don't play a creature. But the odds of them not playing a creature when they put one in the graveyard is extremely low. <clears throat> well, that's pretty good. Two creatures. All right. And that's the end because, you know, we're drawing the 3-1. We have to block this with the 3-1, so we take four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right. Anything we want to change? Take out a mountain for an island. All right, well, that was something. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. We have all the colors. Any A black would be nice, but what can you do? Guildgate? Nope. Okay. That's not what I wanted to lead off with, but that's okay. The hitbox was not my friend there. 
shouldn't affect things, but it probably will. Okay, that's good. That's good. You have a 2-2? Two -two? I have a 1-3. We're doing it. I don't have anything to do this turn, so I guess that's fine. We'll just take a turn off. Yep, that's pretty nice. Do you just play this guy and have it die? Like, I'm not even sure what to... Just draw this 200 star creature, sure. So this guy could just die, but I don't think that matters as much. If you want to sacrifice your guy, that's fine. I'd rather have this guy in the graveyard if we if we're able to surveil. But I mean like you have four mana up, so the odds of that ever happening is literal zero, sure. Seems good. Guess we'll take another six. Nope. Just kidding, I meant eight. Yeah, our deck seems actually terrible now. I have no idea. I looked at the cards, it seemed good. Now I now I feel like my my opinion is wrong. Like we can cast one thing on every turn. Like it's pretty bad. Unless these first three games were just total flukes, like I don't really Yeah, I mean, our Boros isn't great, so it's not like we're missing out on some kind of sneaky Boros deck. Luminous Bonds is good. Like, we only have Temple Garden as far as our white fixing, so... Like, Barrier of Bones doesn't even do anything against 33s. Like, it's just... Yeah. Not great. This is why I hate... This is, like, this is why I hate Sealed. It's, like, $24 to just get your ass handed to you because you literally didn't open as well as your, your opponents. Eh. I'm a much bigger draft fan because at least I have significant mo significantly more control over the deck I draft, right? Like, if I want more two drops, I can just, I can just wait for them. I can pick them highly. If I want more three threes, I can pick those as well. But like, you're just stuck with whatever you open in, in limited, which is pretty unfortunate. I mean, Sealed basically just says, hey, you have these good cards, you have to play these good cards, and you just hope that the deck that you can build out of the good cards is better than the deck your opponent can build out of their, their good cards. So. Um, I don't foresee us... Yeah, no. Um, one, two, three. I don't care about either of these. Thank you. Yeah, probably gonna put both on top. Um, 
Water Sports Drew, welcome back, buddy. 13 months. What a time to be alive. Neither of these surveil, but they're just removal spells. I don't know. I feel like we want something bigger, but I don't want to really bottom two removal spells either. Yeah, we'll just take these. This is fine. Thank you. I can think of worse cards to have in my hand. Envious X, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. So, like, they have a pump spell they can just kill. Yeah, we'll just attack with these guys. Sure. Because if he has any plus one, plus one, then it actually ends up being plus two, plus one. So then it's just a trade here. Yep, you got it. Big butts. Well, I'm just going to keep forcing damage through where I can, I guess. We have two removal spells. I'm not going to waste them on Fire Urchin. Yep. Close. I was like, why aren't you playing? A little laggy here. All right. Well, we do get Artful Takedown, which is nice with the Rampaging Monument. Another another B-Guard, huh? Okay. Well, that's probably pretty good. I think that's just what we're doing right now. I'm afraid to ask you a frustrated look on your face. How's it going? Uh, it's going all right. I mean, we're we're 0-2 in our first round, and we're down a game against Kenji here. Uh, dealing damage to itself equal to its power. Sure. Uh, Murmuring Mystic doesn't seem great here. Graveyard. Graveyard. Darkblade Agent. Eh, now these cards are great. Graveyard. Graveyard. What are we looking for? I don't know. Put you in the graveyard. I'll put you on top. And we'll do it one more time. Uh, graveyard. Top. Sure. So we can make you a 4-4. Four, four. All right, well now I think we have to use uh, the other one. Yeah, well, I don't think it matters. Tap you, neg four, neg four to you. Two for one, got a counter. Seems fine. Sure. Yeah, this is... Uh, graveyard. I think we're just done here. I was like, you're not going to let me finish scrying here. We're just done. All right. Well, didn't see many X ones. It's an instant. Oh, it's a sorcery. Oh, that's really worse. Oh, care packages, Canadian goodies would also be great. I would be 100% down for that. We've been slowly going through the Japanese uh, the Japanese snacks from Kerwit. Um, 
So we'll probably do some more next week when Mike is off work. And slowly sure. I mean, we're going to do a whole a whole stream with just trying out the candies and showing them off. But there's a lot of them. So it's not really reasonable. This guy's actually pretty good. Maybe I just play this guy as another 3-3. Three, three. He makes our other guys pretty can he Can he block alone? Ugh, that guy's... That's rough. These guys are just big, though. Do I want these guys in the deck? Ludus Games, hit me up on... I don't know if you're in the Discord. Hit me up on the Discord or just hit me up on Twitch, and I'll get information to you if that interests you. I would not turn down any sort of uh, any sort of cool international snack care package. I wonder if Murring Mystic's actually worth it. We don't have that many instants and sorceries. I might just want another Piston Fist Cyclops to trade with things. Maybe both of these are just good. We appear to feel pretty good cards. We're literally 1-3 in matches, so... I don't know if they're that good. Ornery Goblin might actually be very, very good. I'm going to put in the Ornery Goblins and the Piston Fists and see if that's a better change. Now we got to cut a bunch of stuff, though. Oh, well, that's sad. Maybe not. Whatever. We'll submit like this. I don't know if that's correct, but... Uh, we'll keep this hand. Got the Ral here. Zero instant and sorcery cards in a graveyard and exile. I like that it says that. That's actually pretty nice. Well, ideally, you don't have turn to Goblin again, because that guy's been problematic. You've bored in a different deck. That's surprising. Kenji, let's go. Time to battle. Singing songs. Might just flash in a whisper agent here. Get the surveil on. Tricky blocks. Force them to use some removal on their turn. How's this up playing? Um, fine so far. I mean, I don't like sealed. You know, like you're forced to go more than one color a reasonable amount of the time. More than two colors, rather, is what I meant. Just because a lot of times your two colors are not going to be. Um, we don't have a second black. Actually, I want to put this in the graveyard because... And I will actually pay the three to get you back. Yeah, that's pretty good. Surveilling blood operative into the graveyard, then paying three... is are you serious i have to play against two nullhide feroxes in this format like back to back any advice for brutalist i have none so far this is my first my first event uh come on dude Just double block and try not to get blown out. I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> I 
They're both defenders, whatever. This is your job. Do your job. Get blown out. Never don't have it. Sure. Yep. Mm. It must be nice when your pool is so deep you can build two separate decks that are very good. As opposed to building one deck out of three colors that is mm, kind of just okay. Still four cards, huh? We can play this and this. We can play Ral, but then it just probably dies to this guy. Yep, Command of the Storm, I'm not going to do anything against this guy. Um, it might just be these two. Set up some blocks, but like... Whatever. We're going to play two things. I think that's probably better. Just exile this in case you have some kind of shenanigans. I mean, you might be able to race with Blood Operative because it's got... Got the life link, the link of lives, but what is this guy at? Zero still? We don't have many. I think we have four or five instants or sorcerers in our entire deck. Oh, good. You're gonna. Yeah. Lob... I don't know what that does. Those former start creature effect creatures die XL instead. Sure. Oh, man. Must be nice. I mean, I guess we just jump block because we're at three, so... That's cool. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just like, I'm so over this format after like two matches. I don't know. I mean, this could be just a bad pool, but it looks, it's like one of those pools that looks good, but it's actually just not great. And then you have to feel bad because you're playing the decks, the matches, and it feels like you should be doing well, but you're just losing to literally everything. I feel like I believe in the heart of the cards a significant amount of the time. Cool. So, round one, I lost to Undercity Lich and Nullhide Ferox. Round two, I lost to Double Nullhide Ferox. Cool format. Take you out. Take one informant out. Oh boy, that is good times. I wonder if these guys are just good. Like, we just don't have enough to really make it worth it. Yeah, what can you do? What can you do? I will play first. And seems good. I'll keep it. In before we get utterly smashed. What are the odds? That, what are the chances you pull two identical mythics in the sequel? Um, I mean, they're got to be pretty low.
Yeah, for some reason it only checks like the the I have IFTTT set up to tweet to tweet when I when I'm live. Um but for some reason it only goes out like it checks like once an hour. Right? Like it's not automated so that like once I once I even if Talent Trooper wasn't the set, we wouldn't be in this set because it's it doesn't have um Azorius in it, so but yeah, it tweets out every like it checks once an hour. Like it's not like it's it's not passive where it's just like once I go live, it goes live. Uh, I feel like it's actually just trinket and ornery goblin. Could also notion rain to stay dry while others feel the pain. No, oh, no blocks. Okay. Three three flying hex proof death touch. That is a lot of cool things. Yep, that's fine. We can go Guildgate into Artful Takedown here and get back our guy. And if we hit a land, we can play it. Not Artful Takedown, but Notion Rain. Uh, I don't care about another Ornery. Actually, maybe I do. I'll put this in the graveyard. Because we can just play this guy. Yeah, that seems fine. I will pay three. Still ahead. Guildgate and Goblin. All right, so maybe this match is looking better. I like the, the Goblins have been a nice addition. Because you can either take down a three toughness guy or a three or yeah, a three toughness guy. You can take down a three toughness guy on attacks or on blocks, which are nice. What guilds are in it? Uh Demir, Celestia, uh Golgari, Is it, and one more. Someone tell me. Boros. Thank you. David Styles, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Do we have a three down? Oh, I wish we could had something for three. Because then we can attack with both, and if they have a trick, we can kill it and play Blood Operative, but I think we're just going to have to be satisfied with this. This seems fine. You can get rid of your frog. I always forget that's an ability. I'm like, what is it asking me to do? Yeah, no reason to keep your keep your creatures in the graveyard when we have when this format has both undergrowth and surveil. I guess surveil doesn't really matter. Oh, draw two cards. Chemister's insight is very, very nice. This art is a little strange, but Oh, that card's not as good. <laughs> that card I am not a fan of. All right. And neither of those were... Hmm. Neither of those were multicolor, interestingly enough. I'm just going to Comet Storm this. We can't do anything else other than that this turn, so we might as well just play the one removal spell and... Yep, that'll do. All right. So they're going to take six, have to block here, and then we'll take five, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I guess we just win the match. All right. This has been a hell of a league so far, guys. Hell of a league. I like the new icons and counters a lot. I think they're much more descriptive. They are clean. What's up, Sarcastatron? I will play first. Yeah, this hand's good. Any black or blue, we can cast this guy on three. We can cast everything else before that. We got one surveil, two surveil. This is a pretty sweet. The Thoughtbound Phantasm and the Doom Whisper is a pretty sweet combo. 
I don't know. Maybe the first two rounds are flukes because our opponents had pretty busted decks. Hard to say. Uh, there's a distinct icon for a bunch of them. I've seen different charge counters. I've seen, like, a bunch of different icons, yeah. This is a great curve if we can, uh, if we can hit land, land. Do we have to wait a few more days for draft? Yes, they never have the draft over the pre-release weekend. It's always sealed until Monday, and then Monday you can draft. Okay, do we want this dead weight? Probably not. We probably want to land here. And we did it. All right. I keep trying to attack with the uh, the defender. That is not how defender works. Now, do we play 4-4 or bats? Probably 4-4 because the upside is higher if we draw a multicolor spell. I like that we hit a swamp, though, which is nice, because if we hit any, uh... Haha! <laughs> Alright. Would have countered either one, but it's nice that we don't get this countered. I think that's really what we want here. And they have taken... Cool. Six cards to one card now. And they're sh I'm sure they're going to kill this because they never don't have it. All right, that's fine. They, they didn't have it, I guess. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yeah, I think we underrated Ornery Goblin dead now. Let's surveil here. Oh, Atrata seems good. Put you in the graveyard. Put you on top. I try to blocks all day too, which is pretty nice. I think that's good enough for us. Like it's a three it's three damage that can't be blocked and it just kills a guy. Yeah, Assassin's Trophy is 24 tickets. Uh, we have Doom Whisper and Ral, which are the second and third highest in the set, which is pretty sweet. 13 and 11. I mean, it's no Nullhide Furox, that's for sure. No foil Nullhide Furox, but... Oh, we win the match. We win the game. All right. Seems good. Yeah, these guys have been... Uh, Surprisingly good. Yeah, I think we can submit here. Um, maybe we want Devious Cover Up just to hold up the take out like a capture sphere. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, foil trophy? My god. That's actually worth less than the regular trophy, surprisingly. Yep, this hand seems great. I will keep it. Ideally, we draw, like, uh, two things to play before the monument so that we can actually trigger it twice, but... Alright, that'll do. I accept that. Gateway Plaza. Rupture Spire for uh, as a gate. That's pretty good. No, we did hit a fourth land. <sighs> wow. Interesting. 
Okay, that's a dude we can play now. Uh, we're probably doing that, and then we can just play Monument on four. And then if we hit a five, we can do that. What up, Tin Man? Good seeing you, buddy. Lucky, lucky, lucky. That's totally fine. This is monumental. Next time we can go Thoughtbound Phantasm and either one of these, which triggers both of them. That's kind of cool. This will also trigger both of them. Any card, any multicolor card with Surveil is nice here. However, their black spell does kill everything because it's power three or more. Is that right? Three or less? It's got to be three or more, right? We can also just keep up. Um, as long as you've surveilled this turn, it has death touch, and whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, you draw a card. It's pretty good. I kind of want to hit a land off of Notion Rain, but... I also kind of want to keep up Devious Cover. I think we'll just keep up Whisper Agent. Whisper Agent's a good blocker for the Dark Blade Agent. <laughs> Water Sports Drew, get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. They did not surveil. Thank you. Interesting. I'm actually tempted to. I'm, I think I'm gonna trade with this. The reason being, if they have their pumps, if they have their their board wipe, uh, this becomes big enough that it dies as well. Um, I will put that on top. Not gonna, not gonna get rid of this guy because it's, it's just we have Doom Whisper in hand. It's actually poised to just be brutal. So now if they board wipe, it's a two for, it's a two for two. Yeah, I don't see them board wiping now. Of course, we can play this and then kind of force the issue, but we can also play both of these, which makes this a five five. Is it casting cost, not power? I actually don't know how that card works. Having a surveil in hand with the Thoughtbound Phantasm is pretty good, right? Probably should have actually surveilled a bunch and then attacked them for a thousand. That was a nasty part. Wow. I will tell that motorcycle that went by. Yep, never don't have it. Let's stack our deck in such a way that, um, two, three, four, five. That's unfortunate. We don't have six. I think we just want to find a Ral. Can we just find a Ral? Yep, that'll do. Put in the graveyard, put on top. We're gonna we're gonna do it one more time so we can get the card underneath Ral as well. Put on top. Put on top. Yep, that'll do. Poor guy. I just wanted to get it out as soon as possible so that we can play Devious Cover Up and uh Try to protect it, but unfortunately, our opponent had other plans. This card's pretty good. If this lets you destroy a Planeswalker, I could see this definitely competing for Veraska's Contempt. Uh, how many instants do we have? Just one? That's rough. We could play this and this. Um... Which would trigger this again, make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Why doesn't this say Surveil 2 and then... It should, he should be plus 1 Surveil 2, right? Like, without Surveil... I, maybe we should have Surveilled more, but we were at 11. I don't really want to go too crazy. This guy becomes a 5-5. Five, five. So they have to double block. They'll probably block with, like, 4-4-2-2. Four, four, two, two. I 
I don't think they can actually get through to Ral here, though. I think we just want to play Ral and start rallying. Ral stays dry. Uh, I'm not complaining that it isn't something worse. Wait, I, no. If it said Surveil 2, then draw a card, I don't think that's worse. I'm not saying it should just be Surveil 2. I'm saying... I, I, I complain about things when they don't seem like they're on theme for a set, but Surveil isn't the Izzet mechanic, so it makes sense. I'm not against it for that reason. Um. Oh. Interesting. Putting the command store in, in the graveyard makes his ability better, but it also is better for us. I'm just going to put this in hand. We can attack for six, but then they double block here. But I guess getting this guy out of the way is pretty good. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, we either eat, we either eat the Rampaging Monument with our one drop... Uh, or they take six, which is no joke. Yeah, they're going to block with these two. Sure. That seems okay. Like, it would have been a 7-7 seven, seven next turn, so it's not like it's getting that much bigger at any point. Any Uh, Ral can take three here. I'm not going to throw a guy away for that. Um, <laughs> if we command storm this guy and deadweight this guy, it's actually pretty good. Let's look at the top three and see what happens. Put this in me handy. So do we even care about deadweighting this? Probably not, right? Look, this guy's not really close to attacking, so we can just probably save the dead weight and sit behind Ral. We do have a Trotta and Doom Whisper in our graveyard, so I'm not sure. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. 6-4 is pretty big. We have two instants and sorcerers in our graveyard. This would be three. Let's see what happens here. Dark Blade Agent, do I care about you? Not really. Graveyard. Graveyard. Yep, we were looking actually we were looking for price of fame. Which is pretty nice. More like nice of fame. Um let's get actually blood operative in the graveyard's pretty good, and we can actually surveil here next turn. Nope, not doing that. We're definitely price of faming this guy. Uh, oh, and we get to scry with this? I totally forgot about that. Um, I think we just want our surveil. I'm going to put both these on top. And the reason being that like we only have 11 cards in our deck. I really don't want to just throw away cards here. Uh, yes, I will pay three for that. No attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once our deck gets going, it's actually pretty sweet. Uh, we can't minus Ral if we deadweight just because it's instant sorcery, right? Like, this doesn't... This is an enchantment, right? Um, I'm actually going to get rid of this now. One, two, three. Yeah, we're going to play two, three drops here. Oh, we can't play operative now. Dang it. 
So we're playing Bardas and Bats and... Oh, you're saying for the same creature. I get it. I understand now. Hey, we can start attacking. I don't want to keep drawing. I don't want to. I really don't want to mill myself here. We could just play Whispering Snitch. I think we're gonna just play. Eh, we'll play Ornery Goblin and keep up. Oh, we can keep up Devious Cover Up and actually counter anything relevant they play, and then just put um, cards back into our library, which is pretty strong. I'll draw the guild gate. I want another black source. All right, we have eight cards. That seems fine. We can shuffle back a bunch of relevant stuff. Doom Whisperer, Atrada. That I do not care about. It's obnoxious, but I'm not going to like waste a spell on it. We opened a sweet pool, but we're also 1-2 right now. Unbelievable? I don't understand what's unbelievable. Don't, don't be like that. What does the emblem do? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it deals four damage to any target and you draw two cards. It's actually not great in our deck, surprisingly. I'm probably just going to kill this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana. I'd like to play bats in this, but I'm definitely not taking down my um, devious cover up shield at this point. What is scary? Bigger spine worm? Sure. Yes. Yeah, we're at six, so I kind of want to get the lifelink rolling. They have two cards. They have one card, and we have devious cover-up. That seems pretty good. And it doesn't matter. All right. 2-2. Two, two. All right. One, two, three, four. We are 4-4 four, four exactly in matches. Well, this hand is pretty rough. <laughs> Not ideal when, uh, yeah, this is better, but I still don't want the Ornery Goblin in hand. Unless we can, yep, all right, now, now I'm okay with everything. We go Island. It's like a nice curve, though. Hey, nice curve. Horn Reno. I was playing MTGA because I thought I wouldn't be up yet. Yeah, buddy. You got suckered. You done played yourself. I'm actually going to play Snitch here because if we can save... No, it doesn't matter, I guess. Well, it does. We get a point in, but... And this is much better mana uses, especially if we want to hit lands. So We'll play you. If it's land, land, I'll probably keep it. Um... I could probably keep both. Next turn we can go lock it into Snitch. No, we can't. We need to land. 
Uh, all right, I'll put the locket in the graveyard. We'll put the land on top. Because that way we can definitely go Rampaging Monument. What up, little Willy? Oh, aggressive. B. Aggressive. B. E. Aggressive. Everybody get in. Doom Whisper one time. Actually, I'd kind of want the snitch. A lot, apparently, surveilling takes a lot of whispering. There's a lot of whispering snitches and doom whispers. A lot of a lot of hush hush on the Demir. I like that flavor. That's nice. Two three flying vigilance and mentor. All right, you don't have any mentorable creatures right now, which is okay with me. Blood operative. Dang. I guess we just. Throw them all in there. Remember the other night when I got real sick and couldn't sleep, so you entertained me all night until I finally felt better and could sleep? Good times. That was a good time. I really don't think Doom Whisper is that pushed. I mean, like, we've had 6-6 six, six flying tramplers for ages. Abyssal Persecutor, Desecration Demon. Um, we have Catacomb Demon. I mean, it, you pay five mana for it, which is like a lot of those guys didn't see play in Constructed that, that frequently. Um, so you're paying one more for it, which is worse. But it does have Surveil, right? So, I mean, like, it has an upside, but it also costs more. So, I don't know. What's the hottest deck for when I can actually start playing this deck? Oh, are you talking about, obviously, you're, I assume you're talking about standard. This is a good question. I don't know. I wish I knew. I'm not good at magic, though. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I think we just play Blood Operative. It's just way better on the board. We don't get a, there's no card to exile. I'm not going to exile my own thing. That's just silly. Desecration Demon, I don't think it had a major drawback. I mean, like, I don't think those were major drawbacks. I think they were drawbacks. Abyssal Persecutors, like, I mean, it's a big ability, like, to be able to not, not be able to win the game. But in in the context of the deck you're playing, it really wasn't that big of a deal. You had numerous ways to get rid of your own Abyssal Persecutor, including, like, sacrificing it with Liliana. But similarly... I mean, drawbacks aside, like, costing f four mana instead of five in a standard format is significant, especially when you have, like, a ramp spell on two into a turn four, six, six flying trampler. I don't know. I think this guy's great. I don't think it's pushed by any means, though. Like, it's just, it dies to, it dies to literally everything. It dies to cast down. It dies to, I don't know, whatever removal spells are in this format. Assassin's trophy, like, no, and don't get me wrong. I don't think, I think it's good. I think it's very, very good. I think it is... No, that's my point. I think it, it doesn't have a downside, which is worth the one mana. But I don't think it's pushed because of that. I think it's just... I think it's just a good... A very good rate. I... No blocks because... Well, we can't. Whenever it attacks, it deals one damage to target creature. That's... Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not ideal. So we can just attack with everything here. Feel good about it. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, this is rough because it can kill this or this. Sure. All right, that's good. I like that a lot, actually, because that guy's probably going to die anyway. And we'll just play you and you. And actually making this guy unblockable when they're at five is pretty strong. Let me look up six power flying creatures for five mana. Let me see if let me see how many there are. Uh, text flying power equals uh, six. Converted mana cost equals five. Oh, luminous bonds! Dang. What was that? Oh, just a two one one two one one little little gentleman. So you're gonna kill this, I'm sure. There's not a ton. Arbor Colossus was a six six or five with reach, and it had monstrosity, which was pretty strong. Which I also thought didn't see a ton of play. Uh, no blocks. I'll take three. Oh, really? This is how you're gonna do me? Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, we can actually attack with something here.
these guys become one of the no the mentor guy is gone yeah all right that's good yeah that's good well we get doom whisper next turn however we do take three in the air maybe five let me look up four mana So we had Abyssal Persecutor, De Demon of Catastrophes, Desecration Demon. We also have Rite of, Rite of Bells and Lock. Flying 5-5 five, five Mentor. When it dies, put one counter on each white creature you control. Yep, that is absolutely busted. Bustin makes me feel... So I just have to hope you don't have a way to deal with this for the turn. Um, and then we can just win with Unblockable. That's literally our option here. I really don't want to even kill that because... So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We block here, we take five, six, seven. And they can gain two. They can mentor onto one of these, which is fine. We'll just take eight. Yep. All right. This is it. This is the moment. From this moment, Sif were dead. From this moment. I actually thought this was going to take significantly longer, this league, because it's five rounds instead of three. Usually a cube league takes about an hour and a half. And so I was like, well, this is probably going to take longer because it's Return to Ravnica. But um, no, it's actually uh, it's about an hour and a half now, and this is round five. So I imagine it's because um, we didn't really get to – our first two, two matches were pretty quick. And uh, additionally, you don't actually have to draft the cards. You just build your deck, which does take time still. But I don't think it takes as long as – drafting the entire deck like that usually takes about half an hour deck building is probably takes about 15 minutes I don't know what's going on. I think they might know that the jig is up. They have two cards. There's a lot of suspense going on here. And Doom Whisperer gets the job done. That's pretty sweet. They could have at least attacked, forced us to figure it out. Like maybe we don't block correctly. Uh, I feel like it's good, but we have double orn ornery goblins. I kind of want the devious cover up and the capture the capture sphere because of the stupid uh, flying lady. Flying lady. Take out the command the storm. I think it's just a five mana version of capture shield capture sphere. I think so. Not as good. Maybe take out one dead weight too. We added we added two removal spells. So we're take out two. We're take out two. Let's maximize philosophy. I think that's haste. Give us a dude haste. Uh, there's no seated pack. You, I think there is a way to get seated packs, right? I think that was the... Um... So there is a Guilds of Ravnica Gilded Sealed League, which you can play. But that's like nine rounds. After every three rounds, I think you get another pack. Uh, we'll play Demir Guildgate first. I like this Ral Zarek. Rally Zally. Mustang Zally. What is this guy? Whenever you, whenever it attacks, you're gonna pay two to give it float. Okay, that's fine. This guy, are we? We have two of our best cards in our deck, so that's pretty cool. I'm trying to donate some bucks, but Streamlabs is not letting me. Cats ate my face. Why would it not? Oh, I see. A Tajik. How nice. Which has mentor. I'm having a good time. 
<laughs> having a good time, having a good time. Six damage on turn three. Seems good. Um, I can't play anything this turn, so I guess we'll just play this, and maybe we actually switch their their P and their T's. What is this kind of gains? First strike until end of turn. I hope you play something so that that's not relevant, but I doubt you will. Feral non-combat damage, sure. Like, I want to flip this guy to... Uh, Yep. If I flip this, like it just gets first strike, right? He just gives it first strike. <sighs> That's really annoying. Seems bad. I think we just have to do something though. Nope, wrong one. Okay, cast invert. I guess we could have traded here, but I don't know if that's even better. Yeah, then they just give it first strike and then they just kill this guy because it's a 3 1. It does make Growl a little better, so if we hit any other uh, instant or sorcery, we can. Shoot something immediately. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Also, mentor, huh? Okay. I guess we got, we can wait. It has flash. Sure. Yeah, that's good. That's a good point. Um, tap this guy. I guess we'll take another. Si guy going to six seems terrible. I'm just gonna block. Yeah, I'm not going to go to three. Or six, rather. I'll just stay at nine. If they play something else, I'll be real sad. All right, well, real sad incoming. That's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, well, I will block here. Take three, four, five, six. Because of this, we go to three, and then they just kill us. They're just probably just going to steal this. Yep, that's cool. Seems good. Probably want another Demir Informant, to be honest. Maybe two Capture Spheres is too many. Actually, Capture is probably better than the Counterspell in this matchup. Yeah, all right. I don't know. We'll see what happens.
Oh, this hand's good. I will keep it. I'm not super sold on invert and invent. I feel like it's kind of like... It has yet to be ideal. Invent is pretty nice, but... Yeah, we're going to have to lead with physical gate. We could lead with Thoughtbound Phantasm, but I'd rather play... I'd rather have the option for both of these on turn two than just playing this guy randomly on turn one. Well, that would have been nice had I known. No. This guy does a lot of work. I don't think the Demir split card is good. I don't know why you like it. Like, surveil two, then draw a card for two mana. Eh, okay. I mean, it's just like a bad impulse. It's a sorcery. And then dispersal for five mana, they bounce a non-land permanent that they control with the highest converted mana cost. And then they discard a card. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's fine, but I'm not, like, super impressed by it. Maybe it's better. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I do like the 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 invent where I get to search for two removal spells, which is very very good. But it's six mana, so. This format does seem rather aggressive. If they don't make this guy float, I will probably block it. Maybe actually invert it here. That's pretty funny, right? I mean, now it's just a removal spell, right? Oh, all right. Okay. Um, yeah, just going to keep attacking. If you want to attack into my Thoughtbound Phantasm, that's fine. We're going to play Rel next turn. Oh, which is probably going to be pretty good. I will 100% block this guy. We have no Surveil cards in hand, so I don't really foresee uh, this guy getting bigger in any speed. Oh, you got a red man. 4-4. Four, 5-2. Four. Okay. Well, that's pretty big. Uh, we'll take a guy. No attacks. Does it say in, until I turn on here? Oh, it does. They fixed it on mode. Oh, that's pretty funny. Luminous Bonds. Well, that is... That is something. And pump this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, that is problematic. Oh, that's good. They can tap a dude, but we can play two things. Five, six... Probably get... Bats here. Bat seems. Uh, I I saw there was a new Phoenix trailer. I didn't watch it though because. Ugh. Because Fox. <laughs> yeah, they can tap one. We'll just tr trump block with the other. That's fine. That's worth keeping Ral alive. Plus, it spends three of their mana. Why do you have haste? 
Ugh, crying out loud. Are they all at Ral? This feels like a pretty easy... All at Ral. Yep. Must be nice. 4 3? Alright, yeah, we're definitely blocking you. Infernal Non, yeah, that seems great. That's fine. I guess we could have blocked him too. Yeah, that also seems good, but I guess we can just kill it now. Oh, kill it, surveil, and get the dude. Yeah, that's. That's pretty baller. Uh, graveyard and a graveyard. Yes. Yes. Exile Tajik. Yes. All right. Eh, might as well get in there. That's some good value. I'm okay with that. Took two. Here comes the... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I thought they were going to play the six mana lady. Whenever it attacks, creatures get plus one, plus one. Yeah, that's two, two. Okay. Man, where's my dead weight when I need it? Where's me dead weight? What was the planeswalker? Ral Zarek. Ral, is it, is it, vice, is it vice Roy? Yeah, MTG Cardbot has not probably not updated for um, Ravnica yet. Four, five, six, seven. We can do one or the other. Blood Operative is pretty bad into an Ornery Goblin, unfortunately. I don't really think we care about... Th we kind of do care about this, though, I think. Uh, the problem is that Walk is the, is that Dark Phoenix is the last Fox X Men movie. It has nothing to do with the Marvel Universe. It has nothing to do with the MCU. So if you have not enjoyed the X Men movies up until now, you're likely not gonna enjoy them with with Dark Phoenix. We'll get in there with that, and maybe we just play bats here. They have no cards in hand, so the, playing bats is a pretty good clock. Like, we're going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We take 10 if we don't block, but then we can actually do whatever we want next turn. And they take 7 and go to 3, so I don't feel like that's accurate. I enjoy nothing. I've got prescriptions. To wow. Good lord. That got dark, man. Three, three, we can just block this guy and not. We have one card. This is actually fine. We can go to 13 and then we'll go back, but we'll go back up to 16, which is pretty good. Two capture spheres. Really? That just makes me sad. The top decks are so real. They're still at six, but that's definitely a difference. Did I not pay a single blue? Unbelievable. One, two, three, four. Capture sphere on your inspiring. This, this, this represents uh, two, five damage. The other rest of this represents three and two. So, I 
Oh, and they can tap down our guy now. Now this changes everything. Cube is gone, yes. They never have uh, Cube and their premier format overlapping. It's not bad. The Surveil is nice for the Blood Operative. I feel like they're going to tap our bats here. I feel like a, a two-turn clock is pretty good to... Uh... I'm actually going to capture Sphere this guy now. Because I don't want you to untap with it, so... Actually, if we just play Whisper Agent and it survives... Yeah, no blocks. I'll take two. Whisper Agent surviving is pretty good here because then we can just make two, three power guys unblockable. So I guess we can keep our fingers crossed for that. Uh, Yeah, I'll keep a trot on top. I will also pay three for this guy. Go to six, I think. No, there's no reason for it. God, but if they have removal, like, we're just... Uh, actually, we're at nine. Like, did they really just draw Command, command the Storm into another removal spell? No, they conceded. That's pretty good. All right, so three two, not bad. Half our entry back and one pack of Ravnica, so we're we're on par for uh, being able to draft this set. I actually don't know how many times. Well, that was interesting. I don't know how many um, play points I have. Three fifty six. All right, so we should be able to uh, use those for next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the content, and you can support me on Patreon and Twitch. Both of the links are in the description below. Hopefully, you'll do that. Even a dollar a month at Patreon gets you uh, some sweet content. And I just posted two new deck lists for standard: one Celestia aggro deck and one Sultai mid range deck. So you guys can definitely check those out for a dollar a month, um, which is basically nothing. I think we can agree four quarters is not a lot. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.